Yeah, it looks like a make anyhow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that one, my mother was coming from out of town and we kind of got busy and it just uh, what a like, field day in the house and everything else. Yeah. <laughs> and like, it's five o'clock and I'm like, I don't want to make lemonade. Call. First customer. Uh, we will definitely we'll have, have it next week. Yeah. Second customer. Third customer. Now this was a serrated knife. He wanted me to take the serrations out of it. So I did. It's a non-serrated Kershaw now. And then I got four restaurant knives from a place downtown that I'm doing for sample. I picked them up yesterday. They got 20 knives they want me to sharpen. I said, okay, give me a couple of them and I'll sharpen them for you. I had to put a tip on this one and a tip on this one. Take them back to them today. Okay, stand by. Well, it's Sunday. I'm inside the house now. I was outside with the other camera showing you the figs. Today, when I got home from spinning with Denny, I had a message on my phone. A guy from the knife gig yesterday, he had some knives he wanted me to shop him, but he forgot to get them to me. He wanted to know, could I go by and pick them up today? I said, sure. So I picked them up this morning. They look like Wusdorf. Now this looks like a shun here. Let's see what we got here. Yep, Wusdorf, like a utility pair or something. And this one, come out of there, baby. Like a slicer. Stand by one minute. Okay, it's four uh, Wusdorfs in this uh, Santuco, Mayabi. I presume that's how you say it, my yobby. Seven inch. I call it like a shun. It's a shun knockoff, you know, it's about half the price of a shun. Maybe a little less than half. It's a nice looking knife. Got red liners. They're all dull. They're all dull. But they're in good shape. They just need sharpness. No scratches hardly. Good shape. A few little chips on that one. Uh, this one, this one don't seem to have any microchips on it. Okay, that's it for knives.